everyone. So I know you've got the sub today, and so what we're going to do is I'm going to make sure that um, I go through each example really slowly, and I will also um, pre-answer any questions that you might have that um, might come up, and definitely have the sub press pause when you need to catch up or when you have a question, he can definitely answer all of your questions. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing we need to do is we need to um, do some definitions. So I know that you know distributive property. So distributive property in our basic definition that we've talked about is multiplying the outside number by each number inside the parentheses. Multiplying the outside number by each number inside the parentheses. And we know that it looks like this. 3 times m, 3 times negative 4. 3m minus 12, right? So factoring by grouping, what factoring by grouping is, we are going to, first step is we're going to section out the polynomial. And then you're going to factor each section. Okay? You might want to put this 1 and 2 on the margin of your paper so that way you have extra um, room because what I'm going to do right now is I kind of want to give you steps 3 and 4 so that you are aware of what those are. So the first step is you're going to section out the polynomial. You'll basically be cutting it in half and I'll show you. The second thing you're going to do is you're going to factor each section. The third thing that's kind of like a must have and I'll put it in red, your parentheses must be the same. So whatever you put in your parentheses, the, remember how we called it the leftovers yesterday? The leftovers must, must, must be the exact same thing in parentheses. That's like a have to have or else you'll get the entire problem wrong. Okay, so we'll go through that and I'll make sure that I put those things in red so that when you're doing the problem, you will know what I'm talking about. Um, and then you're going to, step four, <coughs> rewrite your new factored polynomial. What you're going to write basically is you're going to write... Um, your a parentheses that you have the same numbers in and then you're going to write the, the other numbers as well. Okay, so so here's number one. So what I was talking about when you have to um, break up or split your polynomial, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that now. <clears throat> It's very, very common and pretty much happens all the time that you're going to split your polynomial in half. And the way you're going to split it in half is you're going to split it down the middle. Oh, haha, <laughs> sorry about that. Let me erase that. Okay. So you're going to split your polynomial in half like this, right there. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to factor the first half, okay? So x to the third minus 2x squared. Okay, they don't have any numbers in common, but what x's can I take out? What x's are in common? How many do they both have? They both have 2. x squared. Okay, then I'm going to take out a x minus 2, right? I put it in red because I needed to remind you that it's going to be the exact same parentheses as my next one. Now I'm going to factor the second half. I 
All right, here we go. Remember, when something starts with a negative, you have to factor out the negative. So I'm going to factor out the negative 9 because that's what's in common. And it's also going to become x minus 2. This is what I'm talking about. Your parentheses must match up perfectly, and mine do. So here's what now we're doing. We are going to put these x minus 2s, and we're going to put the x squared take away 9 in separate little categories. So what I have now is I have x squared minus 9. Uh, let's do it in blue, right? Let's keep our let's keep it organized, right? X squared minus nine. So I first did x squared minus nine, the things that were out of parentheses. And that's going to go in its own parentheses. And then I'm only gonna write my x minus two one time because it's in common with both, so I don't need to write it twice. So this is my answer. I grouped together the first portion, I grouped together the second portion, and then I factored out the first half, I factored out the second half, and what I was able to do then is to write it easier, more simplified version, and my parentheses matched up. Your parentheses has to match up. <clears throat> so you're going to, I'm going to write more steps. Write the two, I'm going to call them the outside terms. <clears throat> and then so step one, step two, step three, step four. Write your common parentheses once. Okay? Let's go on to number two. <clears throat> first job, cut it in half. Factor out the first section. So I have 2x to the third minus 8x squared. I'm going to factor out a common number, and I'm going to factor out x's in common. So there's a 2. How many x's do they both have? Right, x squared. So I'm going to get x minus 4. And, by the way, let's do it like this, x minus 4 in red, because that's going to have to be the same as the next parentheses. Okay, now, you have to write the plus sign, because you need to show, that, well, you can't just erase a plus sign. It's still there. Now I have 3x minus 12. What's in common with the 3 and 12? 3. And when I factor out the 3, what's still there? Yep, x minus 4. Do my parentheses match? Yes. Perfect. So now you're going to write, and I'll do it with a different color so you can see it even better. I'm going to write these two together, and then I'm going to write these two. But I'm going to only write that one once. And my blues. Let's write my blues. 2x squared plus 3. <clears throat> okay? So you're writing what's on the outside, and then you're writing your common parentheses only one time. That is my answer for number 2. It's factored. Number 3. First step. Cut it in half. Factor the first 2. The first 2, what's in common? x to the 3rd and 5x squared. x squared, right? x squared. Pardon me. Um, x plus 5. <clears throat> Let's write it in red, huh? Let's follow Okay. Oop! My second one, negative 4x minus 20. It starts with a negative. So factor out the negative 4. It's going to leave me with negative 4 divided out of negative 4x x Negative 4 divided out of negative 20. Negative 4 out of negative 20. P 
positive 5. My reds match up. My blues will go together too. Blues. Reds. Okay, that's number three. Really good. <clears throat> number four. Cut it in half. Let's do it. X to the third minus 4x squared. What's in common? You got it. X squared. X take away 4. Now the second half is negative 9x plus 36. This negative 9, you, since it starts with a negative, we factor out negatives right away. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to take out a negative 9. Then I'm going to do negative 9 divided out of negative 9x is positive x. Negative 9 divided by positive 36. Your red parentheses must match up. Your red parentheses must match up. So let's write my blue. And write your red. <clears throat> Excellent. Later on, we're going to be able to factor this even more. But for right now, that x squared minus 9, we'll just keep it like that. Okay, here we go. Cut it in half. All right. <clears throat> the only thing, you guys, that I can factor out of the front is just an x. 8x minus 3. Now, let's be really careful, because I need to get rid of that negative sign in front of the x. See this negative 8x plus 3 right here? I need to factor out the negative 8, but I, there's not an 8 in 3. Like, I can't factor out negative 8. So I'm going to factor out just the negative sign. It's going to be a negative 1, guys, that I factor out. 8x, negative 1 divided by positive 3, negative 3. Here's the way to check it. If I were to redistribute it, I would get negative 8x plus 3, and that's means that I got my factoring right. So my blues are x minus 1, and my red, 8x minus 3. Okay, that one was hard because the negative 1. Watch out for those. Okay, number 6. Cut it in half. All right. 10 and 15, what's in common? Yep, 5. x squared and x, what's in common? Just an x. Good. Factor out and add 5x out of 10x squared. 5x out of 10x squared. 2x. Factor out 5x from negative 15x. Uh, well, it's just negative 3. <clears throat> now, there is nothing, see how my red parentheses matches what's here already? I can't factor out anything from here. There's nothing that I can do over here. So what's going to have to happen though is because I have to have something with my 5x, I'm going to put a plus sign because it has to come down, and I'm going to say that it's a 1 because it's the, if I distributed this 1, I would get 2x minus 3. Your parentheses must be the same. So this blue plus 1 right here that you're looking at, this plus 1 means that 1 times 2x, 2x. 1 times negative 3, negative 3. I just need a, I needed something to put there because in my blue parentheses, I can't have just a 5x and nothing else. I have to put the, some, like the plus 1. My red parentheses are the same. That's a tricky one, that plus 1. That happens only when, like, you know, it's the exact same thing on the right side. The 2x minus 3 matched up with my parentheses perfectly. 
Okay, so here's some examples for um, classwork. Can you guys turn your paper over? Now, I want to do number three because number three has that hint on it. So on number three, cut it in half. Cut all of them in half. They're going to look like this. T squared T minus one. And they said hint. T minus one is the same as one parentheses T minus one. So I'm going to put plus 1, and I'm going to keep it t minus 1. So here's my answer for, guys, make your t's look different than plus signs. I've got t squared plus 1, and then I've got t minus 1. Okay. Number 4, I'll do real quick for you. Oh, I didn't do it in red. <clears throat> negative 5s minus st. Factor out the negative s. Negative s. I'm going to get positive 5 plus negative s divided by st. T, just the t. My answer for number 4. 2 minus s, reds, 5 plus t. Okay? Your answers will always be two parentheses for grouping, even for homework tonight. Okay? All right, ask this up for help. He definitely knows what he's doing, and he can help you with this. All right, great job, you guys.